After zooming through Germany and France to get back to the UK as soon as we could, we had one last spot we really wanted to visit, the breathtaking Mont Saint-Michel. Morning everyone, today we are going to a magical place. We're going to Mount St. Michael, which is this beautiful like island in France. If it has a big abbey on it, it's stunning. You've probably seen it on Instagram. Can I see? It's behind me somewhere, I'll show you. So last night we sat at this motorhome park. It's about an hour's walk from there. It's the closest one that is open in winter. And we had showers last night, which was really nice. And yeah, now we're gonna head over there. And Mario and I are accidentally matching my hat and his jumper match, but <laughs> we couldn't be bothered getting changed. <laughs> <laughs> Looks so cool. So cool. I'm excited to get closer. Yeah, the sunlight's hitting it, so it's quite bright. Yeah. Looks good. Apparently, I had to climb over this. I think I'm a bit short. <laughs> it is quite a step up. <laughs> there you go. It's a big step over, too. It's slippery as well. Yeah. There you go. We're on our way down the road to Saint, no, Mont Saint Michael. And look, it's warm enough to take my coat off and only it one is. thermal underneath. The sun's out, there's a little bit of blue sky. It's been weeks of grey skies, no sun. Like all the layers in the world, and I'm actually quite hot today. Like, this is so nice. Yeah. We're nearly at the end of the path, and then we link up with the people that have parked up, that have parked at the car park, and we go across the bridge to St. Michael. We're almost there. We just stopped to take some photos. It's so beautiful. Getting closer. I don't know if you can see it, but there's birds flying. It's so amazing how they fly like that all together. It's low tide at the moment so it's kind of just mud on the sides and stuff but hopefully high tide will come when we're still here and it'll be all water and beautiful. It's a nice like reflector. Image. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And it's trying to get that beautiful Instagram shot. <laughs> Don't drop it. <laughs> Check out this bus, it can go both ways. There's a driver's seat at the front and there's also a driver's seat at the back. So it can just drive to one end and then stop and then keep going the other way. It doesn't have to turn around at the end. So the driver just jumped out of here and just walked around to the front to the back of the bus which is now the front of the bus to take off. So cool. Anna's walking through the mud trying to get that nice shot. <laughs> Don't fall over. I'm trying not to. Check out these massive walls around it. If you're trying to invade it would be so hard. You'd be walking through mud hoping that high tide doesn't come soon and then I don't know, somehow trying to climb up the walls. It was so funny, when I was taking my photos I could hear someone, not many people speak English, so kind of when you hear English you kind of listen to what they're saying and I heard someone saying, um, well, she's suffering for her art. And then a French couple came over to us and asked to look at the photos when we were done. Yeah. And now my boots are covered in mud. Yeah. It'll come off. Yeah, hopefully stand in a big puddle. Yeah. It's like, not as deep as it looks. Oh yeah. I'm gonna like cut out though. It's working though. Shoes just have to be good and waterproof. Yeah, they are though. 
I feel like I'm on the set of like Beauty and the Beast, like in the yeah, little village. Yeah. And there's a little fruit village that Belle lives in. I didn't think about this while I was outside, but of course it's on the mountain, so it's going to be a lot of climbing. <laughs> we're getting up close to the abbey, but I think it's 13 euros to get in. So I don't think we're going to go into the abbey, but it's so beautiful outside to have a look around. I think we can get a bit closer, so we're mm. going to go up a few more stairs to see a view, I think. But yeah, yeah, there's a few different ways we can go too, so we're not going to go inside. Try though. them all. <laughs> We're at the entrance to the abbey, but yeah, we're not going to go any further. Some attractions pay to go into, but we can't pay to go into every one, every yeah. single one. It's just too much money. And something like this, it's like we really just wanted to see the environment and see the outside. Plus, we want to go get crepes. <laughs> so, <laughs> some people will probably watch this and be like, you spent money on like overpriced crepes instead of going to the abbey, but we're leaving France soon and we haven't had crepes, so we really want to have some. Yeah going up a bit higher before we go back down. It's a lookout area down there, we should make our way down there. The what area, sorry? That little lookout area. Oh, yes, yes. We'll make our way down there. Yeah, someone wrote the name or something. Oh my Eva. gosh, cute. <laughs> Eva. Wally. Wally. Must be like fog rolling or in or something, because like the sky and the sea have just like Merged blended together. It's together. <laughs> like the horizon should be like there-ish, I think. Yeah. But we can't see it. <laughs> yeah, it's just merging together. Try not to fall over. So filming right now is probably not the best idea. Look at all the people. We need to find a, a spot that we can look out there. Tides starting to cover all the footprints. <laughs> So cool. It's more than we I love I love stuff like this that's like built into the environment around it. Mm. Like me Meteora in Greece and Yeah, there's just this huge rock mountain here and they all just carved it. And it's like it shouldn't be here but it blends in as well because it's like shaped to the environment. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's like it's growing out of the sand. I wonder what that no entry sign is for. Is that saying you can't go up that way or that you just can't? It's telling you not to go in there. Not to go down this big three metre drop into a hole. Got our crabs. I got lemon and... Chocolate and banana. Yeah. And this is how much it costs. <laughs> a bit expensive. The cock was really expensive, but... Yum. Must be the dungeon down there. Some stairs going down it, but they don't go all the way down. Up oh, there's a little cart and a track here. And that would have been how they would have gotten goods down up and down from the abbey. That's so cool. Yeah. So steep. So steep. It's, it's like almost like straight up. 80 degrees, 75 yeah. degree angle. It would have been very hard to pull it out. Yeah. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe.